Uh, my name is Gabe Colosimo. I'm from Sandy, Utah. I'm a redshirt junior uh, for the SP men's basketball team. Gabe, season is here after a long off season. Um, how have practices been going so far? Uh, they've been going great. We have a lot of guys back who uh, who understand the concepts. Me and Leap were just talking about it. Um, great understanding from this group. Uh, we've been able, been able to put a lot in in a short amount of time, and that just comes with having guys that are familiar with the system, familiar with each other. Um, and so our team, I feel like, has looked really good, and we're just looking to build on you know, the early um, additions that we've had. Coach Rantley is in his third year. This is his first year he's had the luxury of having a, a large group of experienced people. In fact, all five starters are returning, including yourself. How nice has that been? Uh, it's been great. Like I said, uh, you know, we've been able to put in, put in a lot at this point, and um, we're only growing. Um, and it, what's been nice is that we have a lot of older guys, so we've been able to mentor the young guys and um, put stuff in that we normally wouldn't with them, and they've been able to pick it up a lot faster than normal. Well, you're going to get a break from practice on Thursday, November 1st. You'll travel across town to play the University of Washington. Uh, games against Division One teams are always exciting. This one against the, another Seattle team, but even making this bigger, they're ranked 25th in the preseason poll. Your thoughts on that matchup? Um, it's going to be fun. I think we're all a little excited for that. It's a big arena, a good team. Um, you know, it's, it's fun. It's going to be one of the first times we're really playing together. Um, so I think we're really excited about it. I think we had uh, we had pretty good success with that against them my freshman year. Um, it ended up being like a 20-point game, but we played them tough. Um, we're looking to do the same. We've been preparing against their zone, so I think we're you know we're all a little antsy to play that game. So, Coach Hopkins brought his uh, matchup zone from Syracuse to UW. Why is that defense so effective? Um, well, first of all, they have a lot of length, um, and that you know contributes to being able to cover a lot of space in that zone. Um, they do a little. They do a couple little wrinkles out of it that are uh, creative that we're looking to attack, um, but not a lot of teams prepare against the zone. And what's been beneficial for us is one of our early non-conference games is against a team that primarily plays zone. So it'll be nice to play against a D1 team that plays zone, and then you know compare that to a D2 team that plays zone. Um, it'll be a good uh, preparation game for that as well. That's exactly right. That game's a tune-up for the regular season. Uh, Falcons were picked second in the GNAC preseason coaches poll. Uh, your thoughts, is that an accurate assessment, you think? Uh, I think it's pretty accurate. Um, we've got a lot of guys back. Um, the conference is always tough, and I think we're looking to capitalize on having guys that are familiar with the how the season works. Um, St. Martin just picked ahead of us. They have a good team, good coach, but I think we're, we're going to be competitive all year, and so it's exciting to to be preseason ranked that high, but also to have the potential to, to push it even higher. You mentioned the returning talent. We don't have time to address everybody, so we'll talk about the two uh, returning GNAC um, all-conference players, and they were also both picked to the preseason all-conference team, and that's first Coleman Wooten. Tell us about him. Uh, Coleman is a man amongst boys. Um, really strong guy, um, really aggressive, does a lot for us, very versatile last year. Um, but he's just a matchup problem. He's really tough to guard. He, he talks well. He's actually improved that a lot. His defense is tough. Um, he rebounds. There's a lot that he does that you can't guard. Um, and so Coleman's just an animal. We lean on Coleman a lot for a lot of things. Gavin Long was also named to that uh, preseason all GNAC team. Uh, tell us a little bit about him. Gav is awesome. When Gav is fired up and kind of has like a psycho look in his, look in his eye, I think we all kind of get excited. Um, you get to see that every now and again. That's always fun. Um, but Gavin just brings us a lot of energy. He can score. He can defend. Um, and he just does a lot for us as far as you know, energy and picking us up. You've got three newcomers this year that Falcons fans haven't seen yet. Uh, hitting them jump out yet? Who's, uh, who's stood out? I think they've all jumped out. I'm pretty impressed with the three new guys we have. Um, got two freshmen, Devontae and Jake. Um, they've both been really good. They both are... Uh, a lot smarter than I was as a freshman. I think they're picking up a lot pretty early, and we're throwing a lot at them. But I've been impressed with both of them. Um, and then Sam Boone, he's a transfer kid. Uh, he's been he's one of the tougher kids on our team. Really, you know, aggressive, um, and I think he's brought a lot to the team. And we're just excited to have him out there with us. Imagine, based on your position, maybe you've. Uh played up against Devontae Moffat uh, more often than the other two? If so, how have those uh, matchups been? What is he uh, Devontae's today? long. He's uh, like 6, 3, or 4 um, and got a lot of length. He can defend really well. And I think he's actually <clears> – <throat> what's made it good is he's uh, he's been good for me because he 
helps me. I mean, he's been guarding me a lot. I've been guarding him. I've had to guard a lot uh, taller players in my career, and he's doing a really good job of pushing me in that aspect. Um, he's tough to guard in transition, um, but he also picks up full court, which has been really good for me. It's been it's given me a look that we don't always get in practice, um, but we get in games. So he's been he's been good in practice, and he's going to be a stud in the games. Great. And I imagine that's the case a lot of positions with the added experience and depth this year. It's probably, practices are probably pretty competitive. Yeah, we get after it. Um, they've been good, though. I think, me personally, I love that they're competitive. We're really uh, going after each other. They get a little feisty, but I think that is a lot more game-like than practices have been. So I think that's been a good thing for this group. Um, we have also have a, a lot of guys and a lot of depth, so that means, you know, you're getting subbed out a little bit more, but you have to compete to get minutes in practice, but you're also going to have to compete to get minutes in games. So it's been really good for this group. Great. Let's talk briefly about yourself. First, uh, you mentioned where you're from, Utah. Uh, what are you majoring in? Uh, I am a double major. So uh, with the red shirt, I'm able to squeeze in a double major um, in business and psychology. And what uh, future plans, what do you see yourself doing with uh, this? I want to coach college basketball. So this has been a good... Uh, experience. I've got a lot of uh, a lot of ideas to bounce off with Coach Leap and the other coaches. Um, and this has been really good for me to play college basketball, but also, you know, learn the ropes and figure out what I want to do um, as a college basketball coach later. Turning back to uh, the exhibition at Washington, uh, Coach Leap is a Washington grad, uh, played basketball there. Does he ever uh, talk about his time there? What do you guys know about Coach him? Leap loves UW basketball and loves all things UW. Um, and I'm from Utah, so Pac-12 rivals. Um, grew up a Utah fan. My sisters went to Oregon and Washington State. So we talk about UW quite a bit. He's pretty high on the dogs. Um, I'm pretty low on them, but that's just a personal thing. But no, uh, Leap loves uh, UW, but I'm sure he'd love uh, SPU to get the win next Thursday. So. He certainly would. One fact that uh, is surprising to most, uh, Grant Leap still holds the Washington single season and career <laughs> marks for three-point shooting. What is that surprising to you? Well, he won't let you forget it, so he's going to mention it to you. But uh, no, it's not surprising. We play uh, every once in a while. We shoot, um, or he'll shoot, he'll shoot with us. So it's not surprising he can shoot it, but um, no, he's not going to let anyone forget that. So, Gabe, thanks so much for your time, and good luck in the exhibition, Gabe. Yeah, thank you.